Hello everyone, why don't you go look here and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, uh, this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I have for it. And th this deck is extremely dumb. It has so many one card engines that it's. It's basically unbreakable. Because you're playing the entirety of the Brave package, you're playing Fusion Destiny package, you're playing Droplet package with Condemned Witch and Droplet, you're playing the Red Rose package, the Performer Pals engine, because. Why the fuck not? The Magician Souls engine, because draw, a Jet Synchron because extender, Fairy Tale of Snow because extender, Mare Mare because extender and we can summon it from the deck, Sight because fuck you, uh, Creation Resonator because fuck you again, Triple Nibiru because fuck you, C Cold of by the Grey because fuck you, Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Ghost Bell, Triple Ghost Ogre, Triple Effect Vela, and Triple in Imperm. If this deck doesn't look... And it's only the main deck. In the extra you have a, a DPE, Baron, Satellite Warrior, Savage, Chaos Ruler, Yazi so we can summon Mare Mare, Shooting Ryza Dragon because we can send anything to the grave, Herald because fuck you, Cupid Pitch because fuck you, Access Code, Dark, Dacta because well, we can just set the site, and it's fun. Halky Feinbrex, because fuck you. Lankory Bow, because, well, we have to do with Sphinx. And I added Geonator Transversa. For one reason and one reason alone. After we need Biru, we can just make uh, the Transversa. Normal summon something uh, weak uh, with zero attack, like Ghost Stroker, Veiler, any of our hand traps. Get the token! <laughs> hey, though, TK. That's basically the only reason Geonator Transensa is here, so we can get the big, very, very big, big, very strong token on our side of the field. And proceed to beat the ever loving crap out of people. And that's it. This deck is very dumb, very expensive, and I am almost ashamed of making this. But uh, for now, let's go to the Dexter's stats.